Okie dokie guys, we are learning about the different brush tools. I'm a firm believer in you need to know what you have access to in order to know what you can use, right? So for this project, you are gonna um, reuse the type tool again, and we're gonna create basically like a poster. The theme is no place for hate. Um, as you know, when you type initially, that weird Latin word comes up, no place for hate. So this is my theme, okay? My first step is I am going to decide where I wanna put it, how big I wanna make it, what type of designs I'm gonna add. So I will go back to my layers, filters, whatever I wanna do to make my text more interesting. I don't want no just plain text, okay? Go back to, use what you learned, okay? So we got layer styles, or you can actually click right here, go to effects, make sure you have the selection tool. I didn't have it. Make sure it's correct. Make sure you select that layer. You can go to FX, and then you can do all of these different effects. I like to put this box to the side so I can see my different effects, but you know, I got my stroke where I can outline it. I like using that tool. You can change the size over here. So the knobs, you are experimenting, guys. You are experimenting. Click on it, see what happens. That way you know what you can use. So all of these are just different effects, but for time, for time's sake, I'm not gonna do a whole bunch of different effects, but I do wanna change it slightly. I do wanna go back to my text tool, and I know you've already done this, but I do wanna add another effect to it. Go to my um, text modification up here at the top and select arch. I want a little arch to it. You see how it arched my words? I don't want it arching that much, so I'm gonna go down. So just a little arch, right? So this is my word. So you experiment, come up with a cool looking font and styles to it, and then you're gonna experiment with the brushes, okay? So when I click on my brushes, I have multiple options. I have brush, I have pencil. Those are the only two we're gonna really deal with, okay? Also, notice how you have all these different options for that brush up here. You have, um, click on it, there's no presets. You have the size of the brush. You have if it's normal, if it's opacity, has a, if it's, you can see through it. But also, I am going to open up a window for just my brushes. So I go to window, I go to brushes, and all of this is basically right here now, okay? So you have brush settings, and you have brushes right here, okay? I'm gonna experiment with different brushes. So notice this brush right here is a different kind of dry brush look. I do wanna make sure I select on my background layer so I'm not coloring over it. I do wanna choose a different color. So I go to the color box and maybe get green. Now I, my letters are green, let me go with the yellow. And I'm just gonna experiment with the different effects that I have from this brush. So this is just one. Let's go to a different brush right there. That's leafy brush. Maybe switch the color a little bit, go to a different color, and overall experiment. See what you can do, okay? Every one of these things do something different, okay? I can change my size. I can change the space of it. The size is right here. I can make my brush bigger. I can make it smaller. I can make it more spaced out. There's so many different options that you have with your brushes. You can just create artwork just using brushes. I can click on texture and add more of a texture feel to it. I can go change my colors. It's just such a flexible option, okay? So I want you to experiment with the different brushes, create some type of background for your poster, and let me know if you have any questions. Once you're finished with it, save it as a JPEG and turn it in. And as I speak, the video shall end.